What is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here with yet another video and today we have the Gemini Jets December and January releases. Yes, we have another set of uh, dual releases, so let's get started with them. We're going to scroll down here uh, to the models that sold out first. We have the Emirates A380 from the October-November set and we have the US, uh, not US, but Canadian, Royal Canadian Air Force C-17. So. Uh, Jeremy just finally starting to catch up. These releases here, the October, November came out late November. And now the December, January coming out here in late December. So I assume the next release set to probably be February will come out in early February. So these models are pretty awesome. That uh, we have the Air Canada 787-9. This one's Foxtrot Victor November Delta 7879. And then they have the flaps down variant. This is $62. That's ridiculous, man. I remember when the A380 was $62. But anyway, these two models are good models if you want the Gemini Jets mold. Now, this should be using the JC Wings mold because it's the flaps down variant. However, if you can find the NG variant, assuming you don't want the flaps down, let's say you just want the standard one. Uh, get the NG one. I ordered that one instead a while back when that was released, the second release. And so if you want the NG1s better, if you want the flaps down, well, of course, Jeremy Jets is the only option for that. Next up, we have an Airbus A320. This one is November 854 Victor Alpha. It is in the Fly with Pride livery. Um, it's not one for me, but it's, a, it's one for those who I know that some people will be interested in this, but not one for me. This one's $47.95, which is a ton of money. Next up, we have the American Eagle ERJ-175, operated by Envoy Air, November 233, November, November. This one is an awesome model that I've been waiting for for quite a while. Hopefully, this means we get the Delta-175 soon, and I assume we're going to get re-releases of both the United and the Alaska-175 here soon, as Jeremy Jets has been doing a lot of regional jets. Now, this model is one that I did purchase, and I've already ordered them by the time this video is coming out. I ordered three of them. And yeah, I'm looking forward to getting them ordered in through DG Pilot. Great story. And yeah, I'll be getting them soon. Next up, we have the Kisten Air, as some people like to say it. Triple Sand 300 ER November, not November, but Hotel Lima 7784. We've got the standard livery right here for $58.85. And the Triple 3 uh, was flaps down, $62.95. I did in fact order the flaps extended variant. This should be using the new JC Wings mold, which is fantastic. And of course, uh, this one will be amazing. This will go nicely with my 50 years of excellence triple three that I have from JC Wings. And uh, this will be a nice addition to the collection. I'm looking forward to it. I've always wanted a standard livery Korean Air model, and finally we are getting it. So uh, finally, a standard livery Korean triple three. This will be a fine addition to my triple seven collection and get it close to completion. Next up, we got Freedom One November five zero zero Whiskey Romeo. Great model for those who didn't pick up the NG variant, but the NG one is better. This is forty seven ninety five. Then we have a United Airlines seven thirty seven Max eight November two seven two five one. This was the very first Max eight delivered to United, so this will be a great model for those who are looking for. A uh, a Max 8 for United. I will be picking one up as United is slated to get quite a few of these. And so I've already placed my pre-order for this and the Korean. Finally, we have a UPS 767-300 November 322 Uniform Papa. I already have one. I got one from Gemma Jets last year and it was only 20 bucks through the UPS company store. So that was a great release. Uh, this one will be a good release for those looking for UPS 763 Winlands. They released quite a few of these. And this will be another fine addition to people's collections. I do like these releases so far. It's been good stuff. I only ordered uh, five models. Three 175s, a Korean Air, and a Southwest. Here we have the Gemini Max. A uh, Royal Australian Air Force 100 years C-17. Great model. Uh, same one as in the 1-2 underscale. Yes, A41213. Or Alpha 41213. 1-200s. Alright, here we have the A320. A fly of pride, same thing as 1400. Here we have the 1200 our commitment livery. This is 492 Alpha Sierra. Yes, I did remember that right correctly. 
So 492 Alpha Sierra, this one is with the flaps and slats extended. You might remember, I believe it was back in August, they released this and they Wood World 739. And then now they've been doing the flaps and slats extended for both. Next up, we have something I was not expecting. November 102 Alpha Charlie, which is the Haviland DHC 6-300 Twin Auto in the Allegheny Commuto livery. So this would have been an aircraft that would have been operated it probably all the way back in like the 60s and 70s and into the 80s and so these would have been used on very short commuter routes for example uh, Allegheny would have flown these from say Charlotte to Winston Salem North Carolina or Charlotte to uh, High Point uh, for those of you who know North Carolina or know where those cities are I bet these would have been very small aircraft used on very short routes and um, really cool they had these I believe they based a bunch of these out of Baltimore as well but they didn't have too many of these. I'm not sure how many exactly they had. But this is a very unique model. Would be a really small plane. I expect this to be a tiny airplane. But it'll be really interesting to see how this model is. I think it'd be a cool plane. One I would consider getting. But if they made like, a, I don't know, a different livery. Like a Continental or Northwest. I don't remember exactly what airlines operate this. But this is a cool plane. Very much a surprise. Next up, we have an Atlas Air 747 uh, ERF uh, 4A92 Mike Charlie. This is the freighter variant interactive series 1200 scale, just like we had in 1400. Pretty cool plane. Next up, we have the EVA Air 777F Bravo 16781, also in the interactive series. Another great addition to the interactive 777s, which are fantastic. Uh, if they release these in 1 to 400 scale, probably buy a bunch. And as I said, I'm going to get every interactive series, 747-400. And I got the Atlas Air. So next up, we have four Southwest planes. That's right, four Southwest planes. The most we ever had in a single release. Um, five total. This release has the most Southwest planes. First, we have Freedom 1, November 500 Whiskey Romeo. Standard and Flaps Extended Config. Both quite expensive. You can see... 95 and 100 bucks. Oh, that's a ton. And then we have Lone Star 1, November 931, Whiskey November, standard and flaps extended. Again, 96 and 100 dollars, which is a ton of money. It's just way too much. Next up, we have a really cool model TWA 717, November 481, Tango Whiskey. Same plane that they released in 1 to 400 scale back in, I want to say, June, not June, I think it was August. Pretty cool plane. I like this one. Um, not one for me, but it's an awesome airplane. Next up, we have United 737 700. From about 21723. Evade Frost uh, 737 700 painted in the new livery for United. And here we have the flaps and slats extended variant. We had the standard variant come out about three releases ago, I believe, in August. And then finally, we have the United States Air Force C 17 Altos Air Force Base. So, very cool model. For whatever reason, they saw the engine detached from the plane, which is probably how it'll come. But, <laughs> you know, Gemini Jets quality. What is what is this? So apparently Gemini Jets is now telling people that their uh, engines are going to come detached. That's, that, that's great. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, you can see it almost looks like it shows the slats extended too, which is kind of weird. But anyway, obviously this will come out one for the next month because Gemini Jets is doing a lot of this. One for the release and one to scale release and then comes out the other scale a few months later so good release set here i really want to know what you all think of this releases a lot of great models here not just north american we do have a ton of north american once again but the korean triple three is pretty awesome there canada 787 bunch of good stuff from one two i really like those interactive series planes they're doing but yeah really solid set um and these will probably come sometime in january i don't expect them to come anytime Soon, probably going to see this in about four weeks. Hopefully, Joint Jets is back to their normal release cycle. So, yeah, good release set. And that is pretty much it for these releases. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and God bless you.